Hey, Tommy Campbell here. Thanks for watching. A little while ago, I posted a video of my smash burgers that I made on the griddle on my Kamado Joe Classic 3. Those were some great burgers. Now, the thing is, a lot of people were interested in my buns because I made them myself, but it was just a quick clip in the video. So I wanted to make a dedicated video showing how to make those buns because they aren't just any buns. They are my knockoff of Shake Shack's buns. If you've never been to Shake Shack, the place is amazing. The first time I had it in Los Angeles, my wife and I had it the next day and the next day and the next day. We loved it, but you can't get one. There's not a Shake Shack near us and the border's closed. So even if I wanted to drive to the one in Seattle, I can't. So I'm going to show you how to easily make a replica knockoff of the Shake Shack bun. Now the Shake Shack bun is actually a Martin's bun. Martin's potato rolls have been the supplier for Shake Shack since day one. If you get a burger at Shake Shack, it is on a Martin's potato roll, but there is nothing like baking a burger bun at home and letting the whole house smell like it. So for these potato buns, I'm just using general all-purpose flour, some milk powder, brown sugar, yeast, salt, egg, water, mashed potatoes, and melted butter. That part's optional. First thing you're going to have to do is make some mashed potatoes. Now these, these aren't ones you're going to get funky with. You're not putting garlic or anything like that in there. You're just going to boil a couple potatoes, mash them, and let them cool. That's it. Nice and easy. So start by measuring and combining all your dry ingredients. Slowly add in that warm water to activate the yeast. Followed by the egg. Followed by the mashed potato. That's the order I like to do it in, because it works. That's why I do it. It works. Let it mix for about five minutes. And I warn you, this is going to be the stickiest, most pain in the ass dough you've ever made. But the results, mm, delicious. Once that's mixed, transfer it to a lightly greased bowl, cover and set it somewhere warm for about an hour so it doubles in size. I have air conditioning, so my house is pretty chilly right now. So I actually just set it in the yard and uh, let it get nice and big there. Once it's doubled in size, take it, dump it out on a greased counter. If you don't do this, it's gonna stick. I'm warning you, this is a really sticky dough. So the trick is to actually get a little bit of oil on your hands. Just use some cooking spray, just enough to allow you to work with it. I found the optimal size for these buns is 3.75 ounces. So that's what I do for a perfect burger. 3.75 ounces is perfect. I was just messing about doing some two ounce ones for dinner rolls, sliders, little things, just having fun. You gotta be loose and fast in the kitchen and be willing to experiment and mess about and try different things. Once you have them lined up on your trays, cover them with cling film and give them all just a gentle little just a little pat down, just a little bit. Just give them a, a little press down. Let them sit for another 45 minutes to an hour and they'll have doubled in size, as you can see. Yeah, they look gorgeous and they will be. I baked these at 350 for 25 minutes on a middle rack. And then I got a new oven, which is this one here, and it's gas. So I did that at 325 with convection and they came out at about 21 minutes. So you're looking to 20 to 25 minutes, very easy cook. I promise you, your house will have never smelled better in your life. I was cooking these while doing some stuff in the yard, drinking the beer, hanging out, playing. And when I came back in, I was still topless. I didn't think the camera was gonna catch that. Um, so apologies or you're welcome, depending on who you are. So transfer them to a wire rack, let them cool. Oh, look how squishy. Look how squishy those are. Perfectly uniform, pillowy soft, beautiful buns with that bit of sweetness. 
the potato, the milk powder, the brown sugar, they all work together to make this heavenly pillow. All right, so here we have one of my little ones, one of my sliders. Uh, it is warm. I've got a little bit of that melted butter on top. Like I said, it's optional. You can glaze them after. You can put them in before you bake them if you want to get them extra brown. I just glaze them after for fun. It's just, it's so soft and pillowy. You squeeze it, but it retains its shape. So, yeah. Mmm. I've eaten hundreds of Shake Shack burgers, and this is 100% the closest I can get to a Martin's potato roll. Um, they cost pennies to make. Give it a shot. It's absolutely delicious. Even better when there's a smash burger in it um, with that shake sauce and cheese and mushrooms. Mm. This is definitely not gluten free. That's probably why it tastes great. Mm. I think of all the things I make, this is one of the things my wife enjoys most. So there you have it. Uh, potato roll, potato bun, potato hamburger bun, almost identical probably to the Martin's ones that you would get at Shake Shack. It's just a delicious, soft, pillowy bun that will wow any friend you have over. Can we, yeah, I guess you can't have people over. Well, make them sit at the end of the yard. You know, you can just throw them their burger or set it down and then call them over. There's no point in making a nice burger without a great bun. So try these out. Thanks for watching, I've been Tommy Campbell. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Check out my stand-up albums on Spotify. I have three out right now, and I don't see myself hitting the road anytime soon. So streaming, subscribing, following me on social media is the best way to support artists. Have a great day.